So now we want to look at uh, hooking up your smart TV, if you've got one, to your wireless internet home connection. This is an extremely useful feature uh, and it uh, generally revolves around something called DLNA, which is Digital Living Network Alliance. It was an uh, open standard created by Sony and now a lot of uh, appliances use it. So in order to hook your television, your smart TV, directly up to your internet, we'll uh, show you how to do that. So what you want to do, and this varies uh, per manufacturer. We happen to be looking at a Panasonic here. It might be different if you've got a Sony or an LG, but ultimately the steps are, are very much the same. So you want to go into your tools section and uh, go through to find, this is a Panasonic Viera, so it's called Viera Connect. Sony will have a version LG will have a version, etc. But this is what we've got for Panasonic. And it will search for a wireless network. Be sure that you have actually hooked up the wireless receiver for your TV. It's usually a small device that is uh, connected via USB and uh, it just needs to be plugged back into the back of the TV. So it's one of those <laughs> accessories that you get with your TV. And if you didn't know what it did, this is what it's for. So now that we've uh, connected to our wireless access point with our TV, what we need to do is put in that security key that we set earlier in the interface. This is the same one that you set for your mobile phone or any other device, the laptop. So we need to type it in and uh, then this uh, TV will be able to connect to the internet. So now we're connecting to our wireless access point. Just like any other device, However, these, these will vary based on the manufacturer of your TV because it is a custom application embedded in the TV uh, to give us the access. Generally the same steps, however. So as you can see now, our connection to our access point is complete. Uh, we have found the right SSID and our wireless type will generally auto-negotiate. Authentication and encryption and we can see our reception has got five green bars, which is very good. We finished there and now we can run through a test. Looks like we got a bunch of ticks, which is great, meaning that we can then go right back to our connect. And we should start to see whatever internet uh, features are available to your particular TV. So as we can see here, we have Quick Flicks, we have ABC iView, fantastic site that we looked at earlier in PC TV. Uh, we have YouTube, uh, we can look at more. We can see Twitter, Facebook, Yahoo. There's gonna be various providers of internet content that are gonna be automatically available to your TV. Now bear in mind this is not a web browser. You can't access everything like you would on a normal computer, but there is a layer on the TV that allows you to access very popular sites. So shall we go to YouTube, for example? And we might be able to find some of the PC TV episodes that have been uploaded thus far. I think I've got one I shortcutted earlier. So here we can see PC TV, and uh, if we click on that, it'll start to load up one of our first segments of Indispensables. And once again, what we need to know is, I mean, bear in mind, this TV is connected directly to the internet. And that pretty much covers our smart devices and connection to your home wireless LAN. Okay, so hopefully we've covered uh, your wireless LAN if you're thinking of getting one or you already have one and what it can do, configuring it and looking at the various devices that uh, can connect up to it to use its features. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, Wendy from Sterling for asking the question about uh, home wireless LAN and if you have any further inquiries, please let us know through your, uh, our YouTube channel or uh, our Facebook page. Thank you.